Hong Chao is one of Hong Kong's outlying islands and one of its best kept secrets. There are no cars on the island and it is a haven of peace and quiet. We opted to explore the north half of the island and ended up taking a clockwise route around the north half which took about three hours. It is dotted with temples devoted to Chinese deities, especially Tin Hao, the goddess of the sea meant to protect the fishermen and sailors. We therefore paid our tributes to the temples for good luck, good health and happiness. This little pier is really worth going to because you get a wonderful view of the inland seas of Hong Kong and as well as a great view of Discovery Bay which is on Lantau Island. We then worked off some calories walking the Peng Yu path which traces the Peng Chao Island coast. We came upon a beach with a surprise built on the sand which says I heart you. Snoopy Rock beckoned as we walked along the path and my dad and I walked up as far as we could. After Snoopy Rock, the pathway took us through the most agricultural parts of the island with lush vegetation surrounding small dwellings. The path eventually took us to Tung Wan Beach where we paid our respects at Lomo Temple devoted to Guan Yin, an important figure in Chinese Buddhism. She is often referred to as the goddess of mercy and compassion. We then proceeded to the leather factory which is situated on the path to take us back to the ferry pier. 60 years ago it was a bustling center of commerce producing all sorts of leather goods. After a three hour walk we sat down to a well deserved lunch. Five minutes down the path and we were back at where we started at the ferry pier. Waiting for the ferry, we had a look-see-look-see -look -see at the neighbouring shops including a small wet market. Mission accomplished! See you next time, Peng Chao Island!